Deb. Hello, Steve. Can I please introduce you to each other? Deb, this is Stephen Carruthers. And Steve, this is Deb McQualkin. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Now, Deb, that's a southern accent. Where are you from and what are you doing in Australia? I'm from the southern part of the United States, from the Carolinas, North and South Carolina. Um, so that's where I get this accent. And I've come to Australia to spit. I originally came for 11 months to spend some time with my grandchildren. But, um, but that has expanded. Tell us a little bit about yourself apart from being from the States. I am not who I used to be in that I used to have a job. I was the associate professor in health systems administration at the University of South Carolina. I was married to the former president of Columbia International University. He was a, that's a seminary and Bible college and missions training uh, facility. He was a missiologist as well as a theologian. So he had a huge influence on me. If you talk to me, you hear me quote him off. Yes, and I have certainly heard that. Stephen, you um, have been recent to New Hope. How have you transitioned into our New Hope community? I've really been very fortunate to have like extended family members, like with Uncle Glenn and his family. So it's been really good to get to know them through the church setting. And I still know Danny Hunt from Crossway. I'm also a member of his small group, and that small group is a fantastic small group with great support. That's great. And tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I kind of like reading autobiographies. Um, I also like to investigate history. I like to uh, try to solve TV mystery murders. And people say I've got a friendly personality and try to get a good rapport with other people. Deb, um, last year you facilitated Grief Share at New Hope and you're also involved with KYB. How important is ministry involvement for you? I think it's a responsibility that God gives to all believers. And so I just try to fulfill that responsibility. But I also really appreciate what Larry Crabb, a Christian psychiatrist, says in that he says, we find our security and our significance from exercising our spiritual gift in the local church. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really true. Steve, you've worked at the Melbourne University Library for 17 years, and now you find yourself studying at the Melbourne School of Theology. Tell us a little bit about that journey. The Melbourne University had a restructure, and I lost my position there. So I went to this employment services company, I did this survey, and pastoral care skills came quite high. And this came from a secular organisation saying, can we consider doing this? So they led the way for me to be doing Melbourne School of Theology and doing the pastoral care stream. The reason why I'm having you on this call today, it's my privilege to welcome you into membership at New Hope. Um, so I want to know from you, Deb, what does it mean for you becoming a member at New Hope? It means that there are rights and privileges that we mutually exchange. Um, I commit to give my resources, my time, my abilities and gifts into New Hope and in and, and in reciprocation to that, I want to be able to vote. I want to be able to, to participate in the inner part of New Hope as, as God leads. And um, so I think it's a mutuality difference, but like a marriage rather than living together and making a commitment. Now, we've got some great online services. If you go to our website and you go to Baptism and you go to the membership page, there's a module five that says exciting steps to become a member. Now, Stephen, as part of your process, you done some of it. How did you find the online resources and what did you do with it? I found them quite very helpful. I think I'm doing it online, it does help especially in this time period because it would be hard to have like membership classes face to face and that sort of thing. So it was good to look at those resources, look at the videos. I was also very fortunate to be able to chat with Jenny Hunt asking many questions I have about the membership. So it worked quite well. Well, New Hope Mugs. This means welcome to the family. So we've uh, made an effort to drop some mugs all for you, and I hope you've got your mugs ready to join with people as we commune together, as we have coffee together, as you become part of our family. So welcome, members of New Hope Baptist Church. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me on the call today. Thanks. Bye. Bye.